Have you ever wondered why you have certain traits that both of your parents don't? Welcome to Mendelian Inheritance. The study of Mendelian inheritance goes back to the 19th century and starts with an Austrian monk named Gregor Mendel. Mendel was growing garden peas when he noticed that when he bred white flowered plants with purple flowered plants, the result was not a mix of the two, but a pure purple plant. He experimented with more and more pea plants, testing 5,000 plants in total. His findings later became the core of classical genetics today. Mendel started off gardening, but he ended up studying the hybridization of garden peas. Hybridization is the act of combining two different organisms to create hybrids, or mixes of the two. By studying the different hybrids he created, he began to learn more about the genetics of the plant. Genetics is the study of the DNA inside an organism. This information then helped him learn what traits were hereditary in his pea plants. Heredity is the study of how characteristics such as color, size, and shape get passed on to our offspring. Mendel was able to see what combinations of pea plants produced certain colors, and how often these colors were created. In order to understand what was happening, he began to label the plants. The original pea plants were called purebred, because they had never been mixed with other pea plants. The next generation, a mix of the two purebred plants, was known as the F1 generation. This is where he was surprised to find pure purple flowers, expecting to find a mix of the two. Mendel bred the plants in the F1 generation together, making the F2 generation. While the F1 generation had only purple flowers, the F2 generation would have one white flower plant to every three purple flower plants. This means that he got white and purple flowers in a 1 to 3 ratio. He hypothesized that there must be something affecting the flower color, something he dubbed a factor. These factors we now call hereditary units. Hereditary units determine if we have brown hair or blonde hair, or are tall or short. These different characteristics require different hereditary units. These differing units are known as alleles. Based on his findings, Mendel was able to determine three different laws. Mendel's first law is the law of segregation. It states that alleles for each gene separate so that the offspring carries one allele from each parent. For each trait that an organism inherits, they get two alleles, one from each parent. These two alleles might end up being the same. For example, if we bred two of the purebred purple peas, each pea parent would give off one of its pure purple alleles, and the pea baby would get two identical purple alleles. When the alleles are the same, it is known as homozygous. But if we were to take the white and purple purebred plants and breed them, the pea child would have one white flower allele and one purple flower allele. When an organism has two different alleles, it is known as heterozygous. The second of Mendel's laws is known as the law of independent assortment. This law states that each allele separates independently from the others. This means that the traits that separate your alleles for hair color do not affect the separation of your alleles for eye color. The law of dominance is the third of Mendel's laws. It refers to the dominant and recessive traits that an organism has. Every organism has both a genotype and a phenotype. The genotype is the DNA sequence that determines an organism's characteristics. These physical characteristics are known as the phenotype. With white and purple peas, though the offspring had alleles from both plants, only one of the alleles was displayed. This is because the presence of an allele does not mean that it will be displayed. If the two alleles are different, then the dominant allele will be the one that is expressed. Scientists write the dominant alleles in uppercase letters, and the recessive alleles in lowercase letters. The purple P allele is dominant because it is shown, so it will be represented with a capital P. The white P allele is recessive, so it will be represented with a lowercase p. This is a diagram, known as a Punnett square, that allows us to plot out the various traits. The purebred P's were capital P, capital P, and lowercase p, lowercase p. The F1 hybrids were both capital P, lowercase p, with one of each allele. Because of this, the dominant purple P became the phenotype. In F2, however, the ratio was 3 to 1, with three purple flowers and one white flower. This is because there were two capital P lowercase p's, one capital P capital P, and one lowercase p lowercase p. The white pea flower exists because it contains no dominant purple alleles. It only contains recessive white alleles. Thanks for watching. I hope you now know more about Mendelian inheritance. Remember to subscribe for the next video.